You dirty little nun. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the room. Oh my god! <laughs> oh wow, it really is an entrance. That's fantastic. You stole my outfit. <laughs> ah, you're terrifying! Oh dearie lord, look at this! Hello. Scary! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, I think. Yes, how are you doing? I'm okay. Great. Madam, I, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Madam. <laughs> Mr. Warren. Yes. Edward Warren. Lovely to see you. You've got a little something right there. I'm kidding. <laughs> You're a very funny man, Edward. Or should I call you just Ed? You can call me whatever you like in your pointy shoes. You're like an elf. You're like a very beautiful elf. Yeah, now. No, this is not your house. Now, what's your name? My name is Bill Wilkins, and I'm 72 years old. What do you make of that voice? Sounds confused. Is he senile? The voice on this tape is coming from an 11-year-old girl. <laughs> I'm having a hard time looking at you and trying to give a straight answer. Don't, don't uh, I'm sorry. I love your contact lenses, by the way. I hope you're wearing contact lenses. What contact lenses? Whoa, oh no. <laughs> Dear Lord. Those are your eyes? I've heard that you are like a spirit hunter or... What is that? I'm not a hunter. I'm more of an aficionado of spirits. Oh. I welcome them. I'm glad you're here. Thank you very much. Yes. You look beautiful. You look great too. Thank you. Thank you. Fresh. You brush your teeth, your teeth are almost as white as your face. Mr. Vanessa, very nice to meet you. <laughs> I've heard that you are a fan of the work of uh, Lorraine and Ed Warren. Yes. The fighting spirits. Yes. And, and I've heard you, you, you're making documentaries about their work, <laughs> right? So, yes. you, you know, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be an actress, but, you know, I took the veil and... You're, uh, you're acting for the Lord, and that's even more important. These are the bigger acts, yes, of course. Yes. Of course. How does a normal day look like of your work? Similar to yours, mm -hmm. I would imagine. Um, I wake up, I put on my robe, um, a little around the lips, and I put on my crucifix, and I go to work. That's great. So, so what normally happens on your day of work? Well, depending on who I run into, I wonder, do I scare them, or do I make them laugh? Do I wear my funny contacts, or do I just say, wear my glasses? <laughs> <laughs> ah. These are all things that I... <laughs> Go through every day. Uh, <laughs> it's just course. a normal day, right? They're just a normal, regular day. It's just two people talking. They're calling it England's Amityville. There is a family that desperately needs our help. The Hodgson? The Hodgson's, yeah. The Hodgson's, they're, they're so, so lovely people, so lovely kids. Yes, they are. What What is happening in their house? They was um, an entity, um, a spirit of some kind that, um, that kind of afflicted them. And, uh, and it took a liking to one of the kids of the family. They, they cut the cops, the police showed up, and the police actually saw something for themselves that they could not explain it. And so uh, they, they, they lodged the story, and before long, that story got picked up by the BBC. And because of that, you know, it ultimately became known as one of the most, if not the most documented paranormal case in paranormal history. You know, I must be very uh, skeptical because I'm believe only in God and not in spirits. <laughs> After everything we've seen, there isn't much that rattles either of us anymore. But this one, this one still haunts me. Do you believe in spirits? You know, I'm a woman from God. You are a beautiful woman from God. Thank you. I only accept it professionally, not, you know, in a... I'm not, listen, way. I'm know. not... A married you're married, man. You're a married man. I'm not. We're not crossing that. Can you imagine what our kids would look like, though? But sometimes they did. You dirty little nun. <laughs> yes. And so, I'm sorry. Do, do, do you believe in spirits, Mr. No. Warren? No. No. I, would you? If they're mean, I'm going to I'm gonna fight them, and I will be victorious. But you don't believe in them, so they're not there. Uh, well... Sometimes they're there, sometimes they're not. It's just, you know, it's, it's not that I 
don't think they're there. It's like if something is in front of me yeah. that is challenging me, mocking me, then you may see a different side of it. Oh, okay. okay. See what I'm saying? Does it feel like the voice is coming from inside you? More like it's coming from behind me. Like I'm being used. Janet, are you all right? Stop, Stop calling, calling me, me Janet. <laughs> She's such a good girl. What's it wrong with her? An oppressing spirit will try to force you to commit the ultimate sin. And what's that? Murder? Suicide? Or both? Are there any rules <laughs> like do and don'ts when you meet a spirit? I don't know. That depends if you like meeting spirits or not. I don't like pointed shoes. So usually if you're near a spirit with pointed shoes, you, you, you need to give them socks at least. Socks. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll get that down. I think I'll, I'll actually, I think if I ever meet a ghost, I'll stop making horror movies forever. Yes. That would be sad. Yeah, and so so let's pray. I don't meet, see anything too what, scary. What would you do, a romantic comedy? Mm -hmm. Well, listen, um, Patrick and I, Patrick Wilson and I talk a lot about how romantic Conjuring 2 is. You know, we actually think it's a, you know, at the end of the day, it's actually a classic love story film. Um, you know, it's a love story drama, and it just so happens the drama that they deal with is kind of scary. I love romantic movies. I love romantic comedy movies, but uh -huh. rom like rom-coms, but... Rom-coms. Oh, so do I. I love rom-coms. I heard that, that your wife, Lorraine, um, she has like a certain gift? She gives gifts. She is what we call the Santa Claus of the spiritual world. Okay. So when she comes to a party, she has a big sack mm -hmm. and she hands out gifts, uh, religious relics to anyone who will take them. Good. Does she give gifts to you too? Only on certain holidays. We love Halloween in our house. Mm -hmm. So I get like pumpkins, scarecrows. Scarecrows hey. are nice. Hey. Mm -hmm. You believe us, don't you? Sensing a presence? I'm not sensing anything. All I can sense is their own fear. <laughs> You're bleeding. <laughs> what is happening? Does he sometimes use it as an apology? So, oh, darling, I couldn't do dinner. Right. There was, I just saw a ghost. Or, oh, sorry, I couldn't go and right. do the grocery. Do, do you like? We wouldn't have that. No, no, we wouldn't have that. No, we would have a much stronger relationship. Of course. Right. I wouldn't tell you that I saw a spirit or something like that. No, well, why would you? Some secrets are important to keep any marriage alive. That's true. That's true. But uh, let's stop talking. You're, you're a married man, and what do you think, you know, I don't have kids, of course, but what do you think uh, uh, are kids and old people always so scary? I know. I don't know what it is. <laughs> old people and children are frightening. <laughs> yes, they are. <laughs> Especially in the context of scary movies. <laughs> they, uh, I, I think... Um, I think it's the idea, I think, especially with kids, I think the idea that, you know, um, you know, kids are supposed to be innocent, right? They, they, they're supposed to be, you know, uh, 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 you know, spiritually clean. And so, you know, when they pass on, you, you hope that they'll go to heaven or they'll, they'll move on to the afterlife, right? But the fact that, that their spirits hang around, that's kind of, um, that just gives it that layer of creepiness. And as for old people, ghosts, um, I think they're just maybe scary to look at. I don't know. Do you love to scare people too? Yes, I do. Why? <laughs> I don't know. You're scaring me right now. <laughs> you, you, why? You, uh, <laughs> let me ask you, why are you scaring me like this? Um, I, I, listen, it's, um, you know, in the same way we go watch a comedy to, to laugh, we go see a scary movie to scream, right? Or, 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 or be frightened. I, I think uh, it's just a great human emotion that we can kind of, um, you know, enjoy, but enjoy it in a, in a way that is safe um, and that isn't life-threatening, <laughs> hopefully. Do you love to scare people? I don't scare people. Do you scare people? No. I don't think so either. Who's that? The family's just a pawn. Can I see your notes? What language do you write in? 
in old Latin. Really? Show me. I don't believe you. I think you're a liar. Why? Let me see. Speak some Latin to me. You're very, very offensive. Flade retro, Satana. How's that do you? What? Hmm? Cosa? No, no, Capito. What? What? Was there a moment where you thought like, oh, scaring is nice. I want to do that professionally. Well, I think my first movie taught me that. Um, Saw. Saw was a movie that I think um, that, that worked on a level that really showed me the power of um, crafting, you know, a, an effective scary movie really, uh, you know, um, can be really rewarding, you know, when it works and watching an audience watching the film, it's really cool, it's really fun. Something inhuman wants to kill you. If we keep doing this, you're going to die. Do you think that no, no, that, that spirits and human can like be friends? This is the third time you're coming on to me, and it scares me. So that's a no. No, that's a yes. Ah, it's good. In the, our church, we play a little game. It's called... Oh, in church you play the game. We, we, in church we play the okay. game. <laughs> Everywhere else, totally normal. We just say a word and you say the first thing that pops up in your mind. <sighs> okay. You love the game? <clears throat> I don't usually take a sip of coffee during an interview, but this is a different interview. Do you want to play that game? Uh, sure, I think. Your favorite song? Dancing in the Dark by Bruce Springsteen. Great song. Yes. Baby's Got Back. Favorite movie? Howard the Duck. Favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate. Booberry. Booberry. Church. God. Heaven. None. Gorgeous. Comedy. Not. Satan. Yikes. Kids. Yikes. <laughs> Satan. Friend. Chocolate. On my face. Dreams. Fantasy. Dreams. Nightmares. Movies. Conjuring 2. I have a little gift for you. I'm sure it will protect you. You have to wear it like this. I have to. I have to. Do I have to wear it upside down? Yeah. Turn it upside down. No, I can't. It's. Turn it upside down. I can't. It's. It's a gift for you. Turn it upside down. It's Your gift. hands are shaking. Yes, I know. Can you turn it the correct way, please? I know. I, I can. You can. Okay. Here, I'll do it for you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you. It was really scary. Oh, awesome, really man. This is scary. awesome. Love it. I see it this morning. I was like, oh my god. Which country are you from? Germany. Germany. Cool, man. Take care, bro. <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really, really fun. And it's an awesome movie. So, really, really good. Lovely costume. Um, I'll pass your card. See you later. Thank you. Yes.